All right, and now you're ready for your introduction to SWAT. If swing wasn't enough, now I have to SWAT you. <laughs> and uh, as I said earlier in the lecture, uh, SWAT basically was uh, IBM's uh, answer to a number of issues they were having. It's turned out that uh, uh, the, the OT architecture were, was keeping people from having all the functionality that they needed, and uh, you know, swing was probably being written, and they were, wrote SWAT for themselves. And if SWAT's very powerful. The great thing about SWAT, though, is not... And, it's, and some people claim it's faster than Swing. But the great thing about SWAT is that, um, let me see if I can go to it real quick, is there's just so much information on how to use it. So I'm going to go to this website real quick, and we're going to take a look at it. I mean, Swing's got a lot of information, but SWAT also has some, a great website with tons and tons of, of uh, examples. We're actually going to show you how to install SWAT, though. It's not native. You've got to install it, and we're going to show you how to run it. But I don't think we're going to spend a lot of time on SWAT right now because all the games I'm going to show you next week are actually swing games. So here's this great uh, set of lessons, you know, on how to use SWAT. I mean, it's just packed. www.eclipse.org slash SWT. <laughs> set it right. Set it right. So in this, you can actually hit code snippets and click on these. And it'll actually give you a Java class that you can just paste inside of your, uh, inside of your uh, folders and run it. But in, or, in order to run it, you've got to actually download the Eclipse. Uh, so Eclipse is now maintaining all the SWAT code. So you have to download the the Eclipse plugin, in a sense, and then you have to point it into your uh, Eclipse. Um, I'm trying to say it in the right way. I'm not saying it. So uh, suppose me messing up how I'm saying this. Let's go to using. Let's go to the actual um, uh, home page, and in the home page, it actually tells you how to install it. Steps you through installing. Uh, it into Eclipse. Let me click on that. See that? Okay, install SWAT applications in Eclipse. And I'm going to click on that. And what you're going to want to do is get the package and download it. And once you download the package, then you're going to want to import it. And once you've imported the package, then you're going to actually want to uh, link it uh, in your Java build path. That's what I was trying to, the words I was searching for. And once you've linked it in your Java build path, then you'll be able to run all these examples. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at doing that. So what I want you to do is, can you bring this page up real quick? And then what you're going to do, and I'm going to walk you through it, and then, then you'll share the doc desktop, and then I'm going to show you. Go to SWAT homepage, and in the SWAT homepage, what you want to do is look, click on, are you on a Windows machine? Click on Windows. And uh, then what you're going to want to do is just go down here and download one of these bad boys. I did, you know, just choose Indiana University, for example. And then you should download SWAT 3.6.1, Windows 32, Windows 32 by 86 size it. Now, you may, uh, as you move on in Java, may decide, hey, Mike, I don't like Swing, I like SWAT. And totally just programming everything in SWAT. So this is an introduction in case you decide to do that. I'd, no, I'd like you to just go ahead and put that on your desktop. Can you do that for me real quick? That's just going to make easy access to, to walk you through the tutorial. So yeah, so once it's on your desktop, you want to go to Eclipse, okay? And yeah, and then you can just create a project. It doesn't matter. And I, I create a project called SWAT, for example, SWAT3. And then what I want to do, I want to go to File. I want to go to Import. And then when you do the import, you just want to go ahead and uh, go Existing Project Workspace. You see that? See that? Is that highlighted right there in yours? And you just follow along, Porter, because I'm going to have you do it. I'm going to turn off the screen. Okay. So uh, you want to click on that. You want to go to Next. And then you want to browse to your desktop. That's why I said put it on your desktop, just to make it easy. And just browse. You can put it anywhere. Just browse to where it's at. And there's my SWAT. So you click on that. You hit Open. Make sure that's highlighted. And then you want to import it. Now, I've already imported it, so it's not going to let me do that. Okay. So it says, hey, it's already there. What are you trying to do? Now, once I've imported it, what's going to happen is on my desktop itself, I'm going to get a folder that's going to look like this. org.eclipse.swat. So that's the I need to import that into my build path so I can actually run a SWAT program. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up and I'm going to show you what's going to happen. You're going to get the wonderful red X which you love so much. I'm going to copy these this Java snippet that I got here from the web and I'm going to paste it right into my project. And see, I got that beautiful red X. You see that? Don't you love that? 
I'm going to grab the other one, too, because someone on the web had asked me, hey, how do you do this? I'm going to show you how to do it very easily in SWAT. SWAT is extremely powerful, okay, and it's very fast. And uh, you may decide if you want to do something, you might be not be able to do it easily in swing, but easily in SWAT, so you switch over to SWAT. You need to become versed in basically everything you can in Java, you know what I'm saying? It just... So that's why I'm introducing this to you, but we're going to move on with swing after this. So I open this up, and I'm getting these errors. Oh, they're terrible. And let me see, what are, what's the problem? So I'm going to click on that. And it doesn't know where the import statement is. Oh, my Lord. What do I do now? Do I just give up? No. You want to do something. I'm going to show you how to do this. Click on Lesson 5. Right-click on that and go to Properties. Now, now, you can't see this. I'm going to bring this down to the screen recorder. can see this. Hold on. So I'm going to right-click on the project. I'm going to go to Properties. And in properties, there is a uh, Java build path. And I want to make sure I click on Java build path. And what I have to do is tell it, hey, put that in my Java build path. So I'm going to projects. I'm going to go to add. And I'm going to click on org eclipse SWAT. When I do that, hit OK. It's going to put that in my Java build path, I hope. And for some reason, it didn't. I didn't click the right thing. I want to click that X. Check it. Make sure you check it, OK? Hit OK. Ta-da! There it is. Then I hit OK, and now it's in my Java build path. And all my yay, all my air went away. My errors went away. You like that, right? And so now I'm going to run this one, and all this is going to do, and I'm going to just explain this very quickly. What we're doing here is it's the shell is the main thing that they use in SWAT. It's called a shell. It's like the J frame, you know. And basically, it's going to give you exact window. The exact Windows window that I have here is going to give that back to me. Pretty cool. So if you're on a Mac, it'll be a Mac window. If you're on Linux, it'll be a Linux window. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. And this display business here, that actually is talking to your actual operating system. Now, this does something a little different. Uh, it actually is talking to the code now and saying, well, is it running or not? And if it is, show it. If not, get rid of it. So you know how we had to dispose things before? Well, the same disposal is here as well. So now I'm just going to run this, and all it's going to do is create a window for me. So let's run it. There it is. Look, it's an exact window. It looks just like my Windows window. Isn't that cool? I, I think it's cool. So anyway, well, that wasn't very inspiring. So let me do another one a little bit more difficult. Here's a, I pulled this from the snippets, and what this does, it displays an HTML window so you can search HTML sites. So if you build a Java site, and suddenly you want to pop up an HTML window inside that Java site and, and look for something, you can use this SWAT uh, component to do that. Let's run this component. And all of a sudden, it brings up this window. So I can search stuff, and it took me to Eclipse. But I'm actually in Java, though. I'm not actually not. I'm not in the browser. I'm in Java. So if I want to go to Adobe, for example, dot com, uh, it does that for me. If I typed in the right address, there it is. Adobe's up. But once again, not in the browser in the sense I'm in the actual Windows native browser, but actually in my SWAT Java browser. Wow! Now we're seeing the same behavior happen with Adobe Air. So Adobe Air can do all these same things as well, and they have all these wonderful components that you pull over. But i got to tell you, this is rich stuff. And if you go back to this site that we looked at earlier, so if you go to this site, there's just tons of code here. So if you hit snippets, you need to go through here and just try some of these snippets for me, okay? And that'll be one of your assignments is basically install SWAT and try some of these snippets. And we're going to walk through that today on your screen, so make sure you see some of those. You might see something, hey, I want to know how to do that or that, but look how much stuff there is here. Much more stuff than you typically see in Swing, but stick Swing can do the same amount of stuff. It's just there's widgets here, so if you want to take a look at widgets, you can see how like widgets can produce, and they're really nice. I mean, this is beautiful work here. So a lot, a lot of people use SWAT, and you might, you might actually decide to go that way. And we may, we may, you, you might say, hey, Michael, I want to try SWAT for my project, and we'll just use SWAT. Okay? It's just you just have to get used to it. I mean, I tell people once you look at something long enough, you think you understand it. And that's pretty much the way it is. There's a certain structure here, and once you get used to that structure, in a sense, you learn it, then you're used to, you know you know how it works, okay? And and, and the structure here, the way it works, is a little different than it, than swing. But once you got one, the other one's similar enough. It's easy to pick up the other one as well. So I want I want to make sure that you saw SWAT, and now we're going to give you the desktop and get it installed, and let you run some of these examples. And I think that's pretty much the lesson today. So what I want you to do for your assignment is to change that tic tac toe so it centers the screen. And I want you to be able to uh, uh, run some of these SWAT examples so you feel comfortable with SWAT a little bit. Uh, not going to be doing a whole lot more talking about SWAT at this point because we want to go for next week. And I also want you to actually take a look at these game, this game site because we're going to hit this. We're going we're to hit all the games. Okay, We're going to explain all the games. 
All right, so I want to make sure you get that, and then we'll be back on MIT, but with a lot more, uh, a lot more uh, gra ability to do cool graphics. Once the MIT lectures are, are done, we're going to go right to 3D. All right, and then when we're done with the 3D, we're going to go right to your project, okay, and start talking about building your project. And I, I think I, I may also, in the process, take a short detour to NetBeans. Yeah, I got to give you the screen back. I just wanted to conclude the lesson. Okay, and that's it for today, and I'm going to stop the recording. Then we're going to move, move the screen over to you and let you start uh, showing me what you can do.